This is a Freightliner cab over tractor in a Talbert Low Boy trailer. They're made by Conrad and they're in 158 scale. Now this is just a cool set. I don't care who you are. The old cab over tractor and a low boy, you don't see that too often. And there's a good reason for that, but we'll get into that in a minute. So the Freightliner cab overs, they were just listed as a cab over. I don't know exactly what the model number is. I think this is an FLA 110. Or maybe it's an FLT. I'm not really sure. I'm not terribly familiar with the Freightliner model numbers. But it is a pretty cool tractor. Now you might have noticed that I do have the mirrors on. And it's also missing half a stack. I typically don't put the mirrors on. The mirrors and the horns and all that stuff. I just leave them in the bags. Because if I don't break them. Because I don't know. Fat fingers I guess. If I don't break them. I will lose one of them. Not both of them. Just one. One will be gone forever. I might as well throw it in the trash can. As soon as I, as soon as I get it out of the bag. So that's why I don't typically put any of the mirrors on. When I get something out. Uh, but I did put them on here. Because well it's missing half the stack. And I felt bad. So I thought. You know, we'll dress it up a little bit. Make it look a little bit presentable. And. It really is pretty decent. So. Freightliner probably hasn't made a cab over in uh, 20 years at least. So keeping that in mind, that means this set's probably 25 to 30 years old. And it's important to keep that age in mind because it's it's a little bit, it's not as refined as you know the, the stuff that's out today. But when you keep in mind that it's 30 years old, the amount of detail and whatnot that's in this tractor and the, the trailer is really cool. Uh, the paint is pretty nice. It's cool that you got the little uh, amber beacon lights up there. The the casting is nice. The uh, the wheels are decent. They're not great by today's standards, but for the time they're pretty fair. But like the handles are cool. The uh, yeah the twin stacks are nice. You got muff flaps and all that. If you look underneath, you even have the drive shaft, which is really cool. You got some steering, and what's also neat. As the cab tilts up and you get a good look at that old, uh, I think that's a Mercedes in there. Pretty sure that's a Mercedes. It's definitely not a Commons or a Caterpillar or a Detroit. So, at some point or another, Freightliner and Mercedes kind of shacked up and got together. I don't know who owns who, but they, they've pretty much been synonymous with each other for quite a while now. And if this is 30 years old, maybe it's been 30 years. I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's a Mercedes in there. Now, as far as this being a low boy tractor, you don't see many cab overs paired with a low boy. And there's a couple different reasons for that. But the, the, the first one, the biggest one, is there's no back glass. There's no... No... Uh, no glass there that you can look through to see your your fifth wheel and the reason why that's important is so on the low boy your neck is uh you have a hydraulic cylinder in here and your neck is adjustable uh up and down so depending on how long the trailer's been sitting or if the last guy who dropped it had a much higher fifth wheel height than you do when you're backing up to the trailer you got to stop right about there, get out, and see what kind of adjustment you got to make to get your, uh, your, your, your neck height to match up with your fifth wheel. And when you get to right about here, you can't see in your mirror the neck of the trailer. You just can't see it. So it, it makes it difficult every time you got to hook, hook and unhook from the trailer. Whereas if you had a conventional tractor, like a day cab, you just look right in, right in, you know, right over your shoulder and there you go. You can see everything. So, that being said, if you miss it, you're either going to hit the neck of the trailer with the back of the tractor. Or if it's too, too high, you run the risk of high hooking it in, in your fifth wheel. Or you miss it all together and you're either going to back the tractor into the, the, the bottom of the neck or the front of the deck. So that's one of the... The simplest reasons why you don't see uh, many cab overs paired with a low boy. Now, as far as the low boy itself goes, 
it's not not the best but at the time it was really cool and there's a, a couple little things that are kind of strange you can see right there that the the trailer wheels are so much smaller than the tractor wheels i'm not really sure why they did that but they did you do also have a pair of uh, spares up here which is pretty neat like i said you do have this hydraulic cylinders in the neck and that allows you to adjust your deck height and you can also um that's how you set the trailer on the ground to 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 detach from the deck um you know and you, and you leave the the neck of the track the, the neck of the trailer on the tractor and it does detach which is pretty cool you can leave it set in there if you want and you also have the little ramps that do fold down so keeping that in mind this was a really cool set uh for 30 years ago i mean it's still pretty decent today but 30 years ago it was huge and another simple reason that uh these were really really popular was that there weren't a lot of american trucks being made there just weren't uh conrad typically I mean, it's maybe three, four, five percent of what they made was American style. The rest of it was all European style. And obviously, they're a German company. So you make what you see, and you can't fault them for that. But that's one of the reasons why uh, this truck was popular, the Low Boy was popular, um, and it's another reason why the Allen Smith trucks were five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a piece, just because there weren't a lot of American trucks being made. Um, so, like I said, it's, it's important to keep that in mind. And it's really not a bad truck by today's standards. Like here, it doesn't look bad. If you put it with a newer trailer, it looks dated really, really quick. But it's still pretty decent, though. Um, it's, not, it's not hard to dress it up. I'd imagine if you got a set of, uh, like, first gear wheels and tires... And threw it on this it would look pretty decent um, and that I think that's a testament to the Conrad's quality because it's not exactly easy to take something that was made 30 years ago you know in, in die cast and still have it look fairly decent today because most of the time it's you know stuff that's 30 years old looks like it was made in the dark ages just about but anyway that's about all I got for this if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.